going on there folks good evening good afternoon late afternoon to some out there it's the earth master here on the live stream with an update video on some earthquake activity ramping up in our watch area we just seen a rather large earthquake strike the southern california region large in terms of well at least most recent activity uh just jumped out of the pool so stand by for just a second while i get this going window capture there we go uh, so activity ramping up pretty significantly in the Southern California region. Of course, we put out an earthquake watch earlier this morning due to seismic increased pressure along the area of Southern California in general, regionally as a whole. Uh, we've been seeing quite a few twos and threes around the area of the Salton Sea area and also around the San Andreas Fault. Right now, 4.6 earthquake in the Ridgecrest area. Uh, kind of filling in the lack of activity, I guess, if you will, for this region. Let me pull up the all magnitudes here. So the way I see aftershocks, for the most part, is a sign of seismic increase in a pressure, okay? You do build up a little bit of pressure um, following each earthquake, right? So a 4.6 in this region following all the large-scale activity we've seen down south throughout the day today and right now uh, definitely a good decision to issue an earthquake watch here for Southern California uh, looking pretty possible that we could be pointing towards something larger out here where is the weakest spot where's the most built-up pressure I think uh, along the southern section of the San Andreas Fault there's many other sections out here of different fault systems but this area along the southern section is very wound up so to speak like a spring just a matter of time before it gets triggered so let's look at the 4.6 earthquake here in the ridgecrest area it's the largest uh, largest earthquake uh, as far as the aftershock goes in quite some time of course this is the area that seen uh the july 4 july 5th sequence of earthquakes back in 2019 of course aftershock activity is prone for many many months and years but an obvious sign of continual pressure, right? Plates and fault systems are always under continual pressure. Sometimes more than others. Today is one of those days where it's more uh, than less. Looking at the Salton Sea area, seeing a swarm of earthquake activity out here. Again, this is just west of the Salton City area, just west of the infamous southern section of the San Andreas Fault. It's been uh, well over 300 years since we've seen any type of earthquake activity large-scale rupture on that fault system let me tell you it's definitely uh, uh it's gonna pop when is the question uh, up to an 8.1 magnitude earthquake is expected on this southern segment i wanted to show some activity here and lack of activity along this area of the fault system here of the southern part of the sandras fault i pulled up 7.0 and above since uh well about 1400 doesn't mean this shows everything since about 1400, but uh, that's as far as the catalog goes back here for the USGS. Notice this southern segment here, lacking that activity. It's been 300, about 322 years, I believe, since the last uh, rupture along the southern segment. A lot of folks claim that the, um, oh, is it this one? One of these quakes, this one right here, the 1857 earthquake, a 7.9, claims that it was on the southern segment. Now, not necessarily of the San Andreas Fault. It's not really the southern segment. This is more or less just south of the creeping section. I would call this the middle section of the San Andreas Fault. And of course, up here on the Bay Area, got the 1906 earthquake, central section of the San Andreas Fault, and some activity recently and historically up on the northern section. But down here, is where we've been building quite a bit of strain and there's an incredible amount of pressure built up here and all this activity uh, just possibly could trigger uh, the big one on this area the most recent quake uh, a little bit further up north from the southern segment is a 7.5 that struck back in 1812 even then that's a lot of time that's over 200 years uh, that has passed even for this area so southern segment, got to watch that pretty closely, folks. It's been a while since we've seen anything above 4.5 in Southern California. Look at this. I pulled up the last um, 
the last year of activity, um, 4.5 and above. Look at that, nothing. Nothing in the Southern California area. So I mentioned this a couple nights ago that uh, uh, we should be seeing something. Something should be popping off here, at least in the four range. They've upgraded that 4.5, looks like to a 4.6. I think that's uh, originally what it may have been. I can't remember exactly, but uh, either way, some activity ramping up here, folks. No reports of uh, anyone filling that, so I find that pretty odd. Let me refresh this here. Normally a 4.6 in the Ridgecrest area, you'll definitely get uh, a few reports. So it has been reviewed by a seismologist. Looks like the fault plane solution is very typical for this fault. I believe this is the uh, airport fault, right, up here? Uh, let me see. Yes, airport lake fault. That's the area where the 7.1 and the 6.9 occurred back in 2019. July 4th, July 5th sequence of earthquakes here. So that's an obvious sign. I think anyone would consider that a sign of regional pressure down here in Southern Cal. And anyone with a right mind would be on guard right now. A lot of people, uh, well, I wouldn't say a lot of people. A couple of folks saying that I'm fear mongering for Southern California. Well, I put out an earthquake watch this morning and there's a reason why. And sure enough, we're getting seismic activity increasing right now. Um, I just don't put out earthquake watches for nothing, and they're not for fear-mongering. So those folks right there uh, that say that, I mean, I, I shouldn't pay them e even two cents of attention, but they pop up in the comments, and I read every single comment. So the activity down here in the Salton Sea area, definitely uh, something to watch. Right up against the San Andreas Fault, some movement up here in the, uh, it looks like West Covina area. Charter Oak, California. A couple small earthquakes in there as well. So either way, Southern California lighten up, right? Wouldn't you guys say? Considering all the activity we've seen uh, around the Nazca plate and the Pacific plate boundary, that's right here. We've got the Cocos plate up north here, seeing low activity, and into the Gulf of California region, seeing activity as well. Now we're finally starting to see that pressure really increase here in Southern California. Uh, popping off with these earthquakes right now. So it's something to watch pretty closely, folks. Uh, this is definitely a very dynamic situation when it comes to the uh, the amount of strain. I have seen uh, a lot of folks know the Dr. Lucy Jones, right? She is the geologist. She's she's the lady that comes on TV after Southern California has a, a big earthquake or, or a sizable quake and talks about the dynamics. She's been recently putting out a lot of stuff in regards to the San Andreas Fault and how it's um, it's going to happen. And it's not, uh, you can't prevent it. It's not preventable. Uh, and she thinks anything, uh, possibly any type of activity around it could trigger it. Uh, so there's a reason why she's been putting out quite a bit of stuff recently. Um, who knows? I mean, it could pop tonight, could be uh, a couple more years. But either way, seismic activity, folks. You can't deny it right now. Southern California definitely ramping up. And uh, that's why I've issued that earthquake watch here on the Earthquake Live 3D stream. We do have solar weather activity ramping up as well. I'm going to cover all this and more here in a couple hours. Um, we'll get to a little bit more details later on in the update. But for now, be prepared. Stay safe. Make sure you guys have an earthquake plan. California or North Carolina. It doesn't matter where you're at. Earthquakes are going to happen. Uh, I don't think any place on Earth is qu quite safe from earthquakes. Uh, and and really, for the uh, major plate boundary, such as Southern California, the San Andreas Fault, it's been quiet. It's really been quiet uh, for a major plate boundary. So it's only a matter of time when it's not so quiet. Uh, and you got to make sure you're prepared before that time comes, folks. Make sure you have an earthquake plan. There's many, many articles floating around on Google. Uh, where you can check your earthquake list, make sure you have important documents and uh, food and whatnot. I like to have my uh, I like to have my little pull behind trailer loaded up with uh, sufficient stuff. Should I have to pull out of here? Um, not a whole lot of stuff I have to load up in there. It's already loaded up for me, just in case earthquake activity ramps up here. And I live here in Northern California, outside of Chico. We got uh, southern uh, portion of the Cascadia subduction zone we have to worry about. So. 
All right, guys, we'll chat at you here in a little bit. Right now, just wanted to get that uh, earthquake activity information put out. Stay safe, folks.